So, you finally managed to get your hands on a PS5. Lucky you. But you've realized you can't quite get the best sound out of your PS4 headset because there's no optical port on the back of the PS5. So you can't get the surround sound and it basically sounds like trash. Well, I had that problem, but I've got the fix. I'm Gary, this is Foxtech, and in this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to get the full surround sound experience from your optical headsets on the PS5. Let's go. What you've probably been doing so far, and what I was doing, is just plugging the headset's mix amp into the USB on the back of the PS5, but the sound is really not good. It's not surround sound because the audio is coming through the USB rather than the optical cable. So to be honest, it just sounds horrible. I used the Artist Pro wireless headset with my PS4 and it was awesome. So I felt like I was missing out not being able to use it in its full potential on the PS5 because let's be honest, it's not cheap. The fix is a HDMI to audio extractor, specifically the Tendak HDMI to audio extractor. This thing is a beast. Basically, this is used to get the audio through the optical cable again, which means you can get that surround sound experience back and listen to all those footsteps in Call of Duty. Firstly, you need to connect the power cable to the back of your PS5 and then into the back of the extractor. The PS5 can power everything that way. Then connect a HDMI cable from the back of the PS5 to the HDMI input on the back of the extractor. Then a separate HDMI from the extractor's output to the back of your gaming monitor. Next, connect the optical cable from the extractor to your headset's mix amp or hub. Your mix amp will obviously need to be plugged into the PS5 too, and on mine, I need to choose PS4 as the source. Now let's dig into the settings on the PS5 itself. In settings, sound, a microphone, make sure that the input device is the one you've attached. So for me, that will be the Arctis Pro Wireless. Then in audio output, Make sure the output device is also Arctis Pro Wireless or the headset that you've got connected. Change the HDMI device type to AV amplifier and change the number of channels to 7.1. Some headsets might only be compatible with 5.1, but 7.1 seems to work fine on mine. Output to headphones should be set to chat audio and the audio format should be changed to Bitstream Dolby. This extractor uses HDMI 2.0, so it works in 1080p 120fps as well as 4K 60fps. There are currently no HDMI 2.1 compatible extractors or even HDMI 2.1 gaming monitors, so you won't be able to use 4K 120fps yet, unless you use one of the HDMI 2.1 compatible TVs. I use 120fps because I love that high refresh rate gaming. To make sure that you've got the best settings for 120 FPS at 1080p, go into the settings, go to saved data and game settings, game presets, and in the performance or resolution mode, select performance mode. Some games might not allow you to do 120 FPS yet, but some do. Warzone, for example, isn't available at 120 FPS on the PS5 yet, but it is on the Series X. Then you're done, that's it. You're good to go. You should be able to play in 120 FPS in Call of Duty Cold War at 1080p with your optical headset in full surround sound and it should sound as good as ever as long as you're using the compatible monitor and cables. Some things to make sure of when you're picking up one of these HDMI audio extractors is that it's HDMI 2.0 compatible as well as HDCP 2.2. That way you should be able to get everything working in the way that I've mentioned in this video. Happy gaming! I hope this video helped in some way and you've managed to get your headset working better on the PS5 now. This was Foxtech and I'll catch you in the next one. If you like this video and it helped in any way, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support.